Okay, hopefully you've had a chance to have a look at this. Um, how'd you go with your diagram? Did you pretend it was tech-free? Because it could be a tech-free question. If, if it's tech-free, we've got to know uh, what these things look like. So a square root function, that's going to start over there. And that's the number two. Um, now this y equals x squared cuts this area into two. So y equals x squared goes like that. And you can see we've got two different areas, one there and one there. What's really important here is this point of intersection. So to find the point of intersection, or if we've got a calculator, G solve, N solve, don't really care, that's nice and easy. But if it's not, we've got a little bit of work to do. Um, how hard will the external exam be? So we need to find that point of intersection by solving simultaneously. If you can see it, minus 1 squared equals minus 1 plus 2. Minus 1 squared is 1. Minus 1 plus 2 is that. 1 equals 1, so x equals minus 1. Hey, not many of us are going to see that. So let's square both sides. Um, how do we solve a cortic? We are going to use the factor and remainder theorem. So to guess and check a value for x that makes that zero, hey, uh, I think I'm going to check minus one. So when minus one goes in there, it goes to plus one. Oops, that's a minus two, isn't it? Because it's gone to the other side. Minus two. Uh, so that's one plus one minus two equals zero. So that's exactly what we want. So there's a couple of ways to work out um, that that point of intersection happens at the point minus two, uh, minus one. Okay, once we've found that, we're away. Let's break this up into three areas. One, two, three. And let's just run through them. Area one with the integral from minus two to minus one of root x plus two. You can do that in your calculator or you can do it um, manually and you should get both times. Two thirds, area two is gonna be the integral from minus one to zero. Uh, and it's going to be under the x squared. And I think we're going to get a third. And area 3. Now area 3 is again from minus 1 to 0, but it's top minus bottom. So I've got the uh, root x plus 2 on top and the x squared on bottom. In your calculator, you're going to get a... 0.8856, bit nasty. Uh, if you do it manually, I'm thinking you're going to get 4 root 2 on 3 minus 1. Uh, sweet, so you're looking at uh, area 1 and 2 being 1 square unit and area 3 being 4 root 2 on three minus one, that'll do. Now let's look at this, evaluate the reasonableness of your solution. Why don't we look at what the area is under the square root function and hopefully it will actually be all of these together because it's one, two and three all together. So you could just do uh, the integral between minus 2 and 0 of root x plus 2, and you're either going to get uh, 1.8856, or if you do it manually, you're going to get 4 root 2 on 3, which sort of makes sense because that's 1, take the 1 off, that's the whole 
under the area under the square root. Okay, so please play around with that. I don't want to do too much more on the video, keep it nice and short. Make sure you can do that with a calculator and without a calculator, please, and make sense of that diagram.